Man, uh, Mo, man, like, you know what I'm saying? There, 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 there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a long time, and I think I tell you every other time I see you, bro, but but thank you. Like, like before we even get into it and start chopping it up, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, some people, they, they reach a certain level of success, and they let that success get to their head, and then it's, like, impossible to have a conversation with them unless you're breaking, breaking, breaking off some bread, and, uh, right. unless you're, like, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, I, I remember... I have a few memories of you, man, but I remember I saw you way the fuck out of town. We were, like, I was walking through the parking lot. It was like, hey, E, and I look. I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, the thing about that memory is, like, I remember how much gas had to go into the car. I remember how many times we had to pull over to eat. I remember the hotels, you know what I'm saying? So so for me to, like, literally be, like, one one few days of a gap, so be like, damn, I'm gonna travel over there, and then you know, da da da. And for me to know, like, bro, you you've traveled the whole country, you know, what I'm saying with gas, with food, with the expenses of, of hotels, the expenses of clothes, you, whatever, you know, what I'm saying. Um, I appreciate you, you know, what I'm saying for, for for letting me bless the stage when you have, uh, for, for you know, what I'm saying like lacing lacing me up a game, introducing me to so many fucking people, and uh, you know. No funny shit, no dick riding shit, man, but thank you. You know what I'm saying? I just want to publicly tell you that, bro. You got it, man. Some people don't know uh, how much it takes to really get out there and and travel for as many years as I wanted, you know, I mean, I, I, as I have. And, you know, I've wanted to, uh, you know, sometimes be like, man, fuck it, I'm done with this shit, you know, but I keep going. You know, I've been going for so long, shit. Some people don't even know, but I'm about to start uh, putting out this content more. And, and lacing people up for those that don't know and, uh, you know, um, and, and create a platform for everyone that we do fuck with out here in the streets all across the country. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, if you don't mind me asking you, man, just, just out of curiosity, mm -hmm. like, when did you come into music? Like, like how old were you? La, 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 la. Like, your introduction to this whole, like, rap, <clears throat> hip hop, you know, entertainment, you know, whatever you want to title that, like, like you know what I'm saying? What's your story, bro? Well, well mine is pretty much um, before I had my first kid, my, my 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 son is 21 now. You know what I'm saying? So he was a baby in the studio. You know what I mean? Shout out to your son, man. That's a blessing. Yeah, yeah. So that he's like my marker of me being in the game because sometimes I forget. But then I see him and I go, damn, he was a That's little. Checkpoint. Uh, yeah, he was a baby crawling on the ground in the studio. You remember? Man, that's wild. Yeah. So, so 21 yeah. years ago. Um, Yeah, pretty much 21 years. He's about to be 22 already, shit. Man, that's live. And, and see, like, like, my shit, my shit started whenever, when, when I was little, bro, I was, like, I was just troubled. Like, in school, I was a fool. Shout out to everybody hitting that 100, you know what I'm saying? Shout out everybody watching. Um, so I like, I would hit that D hard and after you, it was like a, it was like a chain of code, like, you know, like levels, you know what I'm saying? So like first you get ridden up, then you get D hard, then you get suspended for three days, the suspension shit don't work. Then you get kicked out and you go to like, what's called an alternative school. And then, yeah. and you got kicked out alternative then to win JJP, JJP to boot camp, boot camp to TYC. La, 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 like that's kind of how it all broke down. I made it all the way to boot camp. And nothing to be proud of, just telling you a story. But uh, I had an English teacher, shout out to Mr. Henry, and he and uh, he gave us writing assignments. And there was only two things I liked about school. I liked, I liked the PT, because it was like military, you know what I'm saying? It was uh, bear cross, lunges, uh, diamond push-ups, uh, you know what I'm saying? All type of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like boot camp. And, uh, and the second thing was I got to write. And, and and writing was my way of like that was my my escape like from my reality like with words I could be whoever I want, you know. And uh, so he gave us a writing assignment and I wrote a poem and he sent it to a, a website poetry dot com, and they ended up publishing it. So I, I ended up running with it. I was like, man, this poem thing's paying off, you know, what I'm saying blah blah. And shout out to my homeboy Vincent Amaro, uh, he's from Galveston, and uh, so. He's the one that lays mill. Like, hey, you know, Tupac was a poet. And I was like, nah, like in my head, I was like, hell nah, Tupac? Like, <laughs> like, nah, nah, it can't be. And he was like, yeah, man, go look it up. And sure enough, back then, you know what I'm saying, you had to actually go look shit up. It wasn't just like Google, blah, blah, blah. 
So I go and I look it up and like I, I start studying Tupac. And yeah. he was a poet. He was an actor. You know what I'm saying? He was an activist. He was like, you know what I'm saying? So when I learned all this stuff, I was like, well, look, bro, like, if I could somehow figure out how to put, like, these poems, like, on a beat, maybe, just maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I could be a rapper. And that's, like, right around middle school. Like, that's when my whole trip with rap started. You know, I'm 35, so basically 20 years. So ironically... Like, you have your checkpoint, and it damn near matches mine. About, you know, 20, 25 years ago, that's when I was like, hey, you know what? Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to be a rapper. I want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to just be the one listening to it. I want to be the one that they're listening to. And, uh, and man, it's been a long-ass road. It's been a trip. But, like, there's so many things that happened, like, in the last 30 days, literally in the last 30 days, that, like, I have more hope in it than ever. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, rest in peace to my homeboy CPAT. Uh, I, 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 I know you know what I'm talking about. Like, I, I know y'all go back. Uh, shout out Joker, Money Gang, uh, all y'all niggas. Um, and there was something about him that he was my friend. It wasn't just like that. We were two rappers. Like, he was my friend. And I remember we used to have conversations in his apartment. And he'd be like, just like you said, he'd be like, E. And you got to come back to it. Like, I took 10-year break, five-year breaks, and he, he knew me throughout this whole time. Years. I'm talking about years. Ten years without nothing. Like, I'm in love with it, and then leave me alone. And he's like, man, you got to come back to it. Da, da, da. And I remember with him, I learned this thing where I was like, damn, bro, you believe in my music more than I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do it as a hobby and a pastime. Like, I just do it, like, kind of, like, therapeutic, like, just to, just to, just to get it off my head. And you believe in it more than I do. Yeah. And, and man, like, that was the first person that I came across in life that I met, that I felt in my spirit. I felt it in my soul. Like, bro, I believe in you. You know, like, the, it's not that you're saying nothing new. Cat, black, hat, uh, you know, gray, pain, shape. You're not using new words. You're using the same words that rappers have been using yeah. since they started writing words down. But the way you deliver it, the way you put it together, the way that you play your Tetris game with it, like, I believe in that shit, you know what I'm saying? And and it, it was him, I ain't gonna lie, like, like it, 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 it made me realize, like, look, like, this dude feels like I represent him, you know what I mean? And, and my homeboy at this trap, and my homeboy locked up, and, and, you know, this college kid that, like, I'm here to lick on, but I don't even know him like that, he's vibing to my music the same exact way as him, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like I represent all these fools, you know what I'm saying? Like, I represent everybody that, that's been on the, in this car with me on this ride. And, bro, like, E45, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it's been crazy the way it happened. But in the last month, I got a $300 feature on the verse. And that might not be a lot to some people, but, bro, I got $300. Somebody paid me, and I ain't going to put their business out there, but they paid me $300, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to rap on their beat. Somebody paid me $200 to pull up and do a show. You know what I'm saying? And, and and to me, I say that shit with pride, bro, because I'm like 25 years, like 20, 25 years deep. And I can honestly tell you, this is the first time that I've collected $200 to go do a show, $300 to do a verse. You know, I've always just looked at this shit like a hobby, like, like therapy. Like, hey, let me go in that booth and just talk to my therapist. I, I, I literally, I printed out 100 CDs and passed them out, passed them out to different people. You know, shout out to everybody that's watching. Shout out to every, this Latin fam. You know what I'm saying? Northern Cali. Shout out to y'all. H-Town, the whole Mexican race. Yeah, I literally go through every single one of these, and I go through every comment. I go through every person, and I appreciate y'all so fucking much. Every single one of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Consistency is key. And, and, and when I tell you, like, on everything I love, like, just right now, I just right now, this week, the same month, like I told you, I now own 100% of a song for the first time in 35 years of my life. I won a rap contest uh, straight out of Texas and Dallas. I won the rap contest and I won like a haircut, like a, a chain that a jeweler made, uh, uh, interviews on podcasts, and I won four beats. And so whenever I picked those four beats, I ended up recording on one of them. You know what I'm saying? And whenever I did my BMI on my ASCAP, which if you're a new artist, you should be educated or you should ask somebody 
what a BMI and what an ASCAP is and what how that works. Well, uh, shout out to Filero from Dope House. Big shout out to Filero. He's the one that did it for me. And uh, that's when he laced me up to, hey, if you're doing this right now, you might as well go ahead and open up your own publishing. Right? Mm -hmm. So this will be the first single that's going to run. It's going to go through GT. Shout out to Goto's and Empire and Gazi and everybody over there. But it's going to be, it's going to funnel through E45 Publishing. So I'm yeah. super proud of it. It's my first, it's my very first song that like I'm going to own and it's going to be through, through my shit, you know? Mm 